the details at cbsdenver.com. That was the best line ever, I think. Yeah. People love PB and J. Oh God. <laughs> he said it with so much <laughs> yeah, flair. Yeah, there you go. And he said it with conviction because you know what? He's right. Everybody loves. Oh yeah, PB &J. I say that every morning. I love me some PB and J <laughs> and a little Nutella too sometimes. You know? It's just so <laughs> wonderful to see these young kids, you know, caring mm -hmm. about other people, wanting to do good in the community. Ah, uh, for sure. I know. Good stuff there. Cute. Hey, this is good stuff outside. Look at the blue sky we have. A few clouds are coming in over Mount Evans there. We're going to get some more snow up there and a little more down here uh, before we're done with the week, believe it or not. We got another little storm that's headed our way. Temperature wise, we've warmed up into the 30s out across the eastern plains. Still cold in the mountains. We've got a lot of teens up there. And in fact, take a look at this. There's the 30s and 20s we have around the city. But looking up here at Berthoud Pass, on the thermometer, they are eight below zero. The wind up there is going 49 to 55 mile per hour between Berthoud Pass and Georgetown. And their current wind chill up there, 38 below zero on Berthoud Pass, 40 below zero in uh, the Georgetown area. Got a feel for those folks up there. Quite cold. Is that westerly winds coming in? But for us, it's a downsloping Chinook wind, so that's the reason, part of the reason our temperatures are back in addition to the sunshine. Now, clouds are building in out west ahead of our next snowmaker here that is building. It's a big low pressure trough that again is sinking down towards Las Vegas here. At the moment, it's in northern Nevada, at least the center of that is. So that'll be swooping through here between now and Friday. Here's the way it plays out it'll dive down to Las Vegas here. Rain and snow across Arizona into Utah, moving into Colorado. This is uh, at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon as this system comes through. And then uh, tomorrow night into Friday, we get a little shot of snow going through the Denver metro area. At this point, it looks like maybe a half inch to an inch for the Friday morning commute here in the Denver metro area. Of course, in the mountains, it'll be a lot more, and especially down south. So tonight through 5 p.m. Friday, we could see up to one to three feet of snow in some of the San Juan Mountains above 10,000 feet down here and about 6 to 12 around the Grand Mesa and the Uncompetitive. Pagre Plateau. Here's how it plays out for today, though, snowing off and on throughout the mountains. The heavy snow will again be tomorrow into Friday, but we'll have snow today and will be mostly clear out over the eastern plains. Highs today again into the 30s and 40s here to the east, teens in the mountains, and we'll be in the 30s and 20s out there on the western side of the map. So for today, at DIA, it'll be about 34. I think it might get a little warmer than that downtown, and then 33 tomorrow. Light snow in the evening, and then it will pick up into Friday morning. Morning, and again, about a half inch to an inch for the morning commute on Friday. But by the weekend, it gets on out of here. And guess what happens on the weekend? Woohoo! We get back into the 40s <laughs> by then. That's still below normal for this time of year, but a lot better than we've been the last couple of days. Truly, mm -hmm. above freezing is okay with me. Feels good out there. Thank you for that. You betcha. Alrighty, well, if you've ever been near down.